Yo, what is going on guys? It is Aranok and today I am bringing you the Li Ming spotlight with my kind of views and ramblings over the top. If you want to watch the original video, I'll provide a link in the description and you can go and watch it there. But right now I'm going to talk about my first impressions and overall feel of what I think about Li Ming. A magical prodigy from an early age, Li Ming was once a standout pupil of Chaldean's prestigious Yashari Sanctum. Fully convinced that she was a hero prophesied to defeat the legions of hell, she left behind her teachers and traveled the world as a renegade wizard, a master of limitless arcane power. Now that path has led her to the Nexus. So right there we learn a little history of Li Ming and right here we have her abilities. So Magic Missile, Arcane Orb and Teleport along with her alts Disintegrate, Wave of Force and her trait which is Critical Mass. Now we're talking about Critical Mass here and from what I understand every time you kill someone with your spells your cooldowns are refreshed. Now I'm not really sure how much mana this character is going to have but I imagine she's going to have quite a lot because otherwise I'm not really sure if that's going to be worth it. Like sure your ability is going to be up all the time, but whether you're going to have the mana to use them, who knows. I mean, in this video, we don't really see, while she casts the spells, we don't see her mana going down very much, especially with the magic missile uh, demonstration. And here we see about 1 20th of the bar go down. I really like the look of her abilities. I think magic missile is going to be a complete pain to you kind of hit three targets with. I think if it's going to be a single target, it'll be pretty good. I really, really like the look of this arcane orb. It kind of reminds me of Kel'Thas's ultimate uh, ability, which is Pyroblast, and I especially like the blink. I think that's going to be very helpful, if not really annoying to deal with. Her first ultimate ability here, which is Disintegrate, is taken directly out of Diablo 3, and it, is a, it looks like it's going to be an extremely cool ability to use especially with it working in line with her traits so every time you have a takedown it refreshes how much damage it's going to do single target we're not too sure but you can see that it does damage to everything standing in the line now if you can manage to get your enemies to all group up that's going to be just absolutely devastating as a continuous cast um much as the same as Tychus's Draken laser is at the moment and other spells like that. Right now on the screen we can see kind of some examples of using the magic missile in a single target and using these abilities to kind of help take down heroes. Now I'm not sure if by yourself it's going to be this easy to take down a hero, especially someone like Kel'Thas who's got a lot of burst damage. We see her just kind of take him apart but we don't know if he turns around and lifts her up in the air and then starts doing all his uh, explosions how long Li Ming will last because while we have this spotlight we don't actually have any numbers on how much damage she does how much mana she has or how much health she has so especially in a situation like that where it's two towers against one hero with two heroes coming to help the towers we're not sure how long she's going to stand up with and I mean here you can see kind of down like her downfalls it, it recommends casting Arcane Orb from a bush right now but if you see one come out surely you will see the others so I'm not entirely sure if this character is going to be as good as they're trying to lay her out to be right now. I think she's going to be quite on par with uh, Jaina. So if we think about kind of World of Warcraft, we have the different specs. We have the Fire Mage, which is Kel'Thas. He came out. We have the Ice Mage, which is Jaina. She came out first and she's out. And now we have the Arcane Mage. Now, those two heroes are quite squishy. They're going to die quite quickly. And I imagine Li Ming is going to be on the same level as that, if not you know even more so because of all these cool abilities she has such as all of her cooldowns being refreshed straight after a kill i mean if she's doing as much damage as jaina and kelthus in team fights that's gonna be a lot a lot of damage pumped out against the enemy team or your team if you're going up against her i imagine she'll have to be focused quite quickly and kind of treated as like one of the biggest damage wielders in the game because right now from this trailer especially all we're seeing is her doing tons amounts of damage and i mean especially at the start you can see that all the heroes she's going up against have kind of low health but here you can see how devastating she could actually be and i'm so excited to see how she comes out and how she plays and i'm very excited to play her for myself and really get a feel of how good of the character she is please remember to like this video and subscribe for more heroes of the storm news and trailer analysis coming soon